Welcome back if you're a returning viewer. And if you're new here, my name is Lizzie. I am into mid-sides fashion, beauty, lifestyle, mom life all mixed into one. Today, we are going to be getting into some of my makeup collection. Um, and we're gonna use some products that I have barely used or have used in the past. Um, there's a little mix of everything. So if you're in interested in that and want to see that, please stick around, get comfortable, and let's get into it. All right, so I've already um, washed my face, moisturized, did all that. Um, we will be getting into a primer. Also, if I'm looking over to the side here, I'm looking into my mirror so I can be able to maneuver all this. So the first thing we're gonna try is the Vitamin Glow Primer by Smashbox. I have a lot of little sizes of stuff that I like to get to try on first to see if I can get a feel of it and if I do like it instead of buying the big product all at once and then if I don't like it, it going to waste. So we're gonna go in with this and see if I like it. I don't normally use dewy primers just because I have super oily skin and I have to be blotting throughout the day. So here we go. All right, the next product we're gonna use, and I heard and I've seen that this is pretty popular, and please forgive me for just getting to this and being late in the game, but I'm here. <laughs> so this is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I have it in the shade Light 210N. I'm thinking this might be too light. Also, I'm more of a natural light foundation type of gal. I don't mind um, having scars, redness, anything peeking through. Just clean it up and look it a little bit more smoother. So this is kind of be out of my um, comfort zone a little bit with the full coverage, medium to full coverage. So let's get into it and try this. All right, I got the foundation on. Um, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, so I'm actually okay with it. Um, I'm, like I said, it might be a little too light, but now I'm gonna take my Real Techniques uh, blending sponge and just press it in. Um, before that, I like to um, put a little bit of setting spray on and then press it in, that way I can set that. Um, I know it's not somebody not everybody's preference to do that, but I like to do that. So I'm going to be using the Believe Beauty Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. All right, the next product we are gonna use is, and I know that people don't normally use this as concealer, but I had gotten a two light bay color foundation and it's a lot of it's gone because my daughter got into it. But I'm going to do the CC uh, cream underneath my eyes and to brighten up some of my face. And this is in Fair 120. And I will be putting that on with a Luxie 211 concealer brush. It's not going to focus. Anyway, there's the brush. Alright, so here's it on, placed on my face, and then I'm going to take the Luxie um, smaller blending sponge that I have got. It's great for under eyes, um, and blend it in. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is set my under eyes so they don't crease, even though my look with pretty much everything, I haven't found anything concealer wise that does not crease because I have really funky under eyes. So we are going to go in with the Visert Setting Power Powder sorry, um, and Translucent. Obviously, 
All right, so I did my under eyes and my in T-zone. Um, sorry if I sound nasally. Um, this time of year kicks my butt 110%. Um, I have really bad allergies and I'm always congested, so sorry about that. If you hear any nasaliness in my voice. Um, I used the e.l.f. highlighter brush. I actually like how it is pointed so I can get underneath my under eyes. So I put that, I did that with that. And then I'm going to do it all over my face and use the e. Luxie 514 blush brush because it is fluffy. So. Alright, next um, I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I usually do that before I put foundation on and I had a little bit of a brain fart, but work with what I got. So, I am using the Violet Voss Violet Sunset Eyeshadow Palette. Um, please forgive how horrible it kind of looks. My daughter got into this as well and I hadn't even got to try it out yet. So, um, I'm hoping to do some type of fall looks maybe go in with you know like the reds or something we're gonna figure something out so uh yeah let's see what i come up with All right, next I'm going to curl my top lashes. Um, I've had this Revlon eye curler for I don't know how long, but it's worked wonders for me. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with the Iconic London, I wanna say it's like a magnetic mascara. I couldn't quite tell you for sure. Let's see. Triple Threat Mascara, sorry. And black is what we're gonna go in with. Um, my eyelashes are very short and stubby um so I have a hard time um with mascaras if I can find a mascara that lengthens and curls and volumizes like to make it look like I have beautiful lashes I'm all for it um I'm still getting into the little, uh fake lash game so hopefully in the next few videos you'll see me getting into that part of it um, but I also have been going to my hairdresser who started doing the eyelash lift and tint. Um, highly recommend that 110%. Um, it has helped my eyelashes stay lifted, curled, and is actually helping them grow as well. So, um, I do that and get my eyebrows tinted as well. And again, highly recommend that. So if you have that option near you and have short stubby eyelashes like I do, uh, definitely check into that. Alright, so I have about two coats of mascara on the top. Um, like I said, my eyes don't like to, eyelashes don't like to curl or anything like that. Um, it does a little bit, but I'm not really a big fan of it. But it'll do for today. Um, but yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Um, but that's your my personal preference. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. So, um, the next thing I'm going to go do is get into the contour. I have never used this palette. I bought it. It's been sitting. So we're going to use the e.l.f. bronzer palette. And I want to say this is the lighter of the two. I think there's two different uh, color schemes and this is the lighter of the two. Um, I'm going to give you an FYI already. I really, really suck at putting on bronzer, so it's probably going to look patchy as F. <laughs> AF, patchy AF, but um, we'll see what I can come up with with this.
All right, I probably botched the uh, <laughs> contour on my nose because I'm not really used to doing that. I don't think I really need it, but I tried it out today. I think a little too dark of a color, so please forgive that. But I will try to fix it somehow with this one here. So um, next we are going to do highlighter. And I have Ofra, an Ofra highlighter. I could not tell you what color it is. So, please bear with me. Let's see what we got here. No clue what it is, but it's uh, like a purpley-ish sheen. I know it's probably gonna show a shadow on my skin, but that's okay. Um, I thought it would tie in with the purple of the eyes. So yeah, let's try that out and see how it looks on my skin. Alright, so there's that, um, it's, if you can, you can definitely build this up, but I like a more natural highlight, but I do like it hitting on the places where it would normally hit, looking all nice and beautiful, so, um, I think I got it pretty down, it's kind of hard to see on my camera, but, um, next is blush, and I have used this quite a bit, um, it's the Milani Baked Blush, I think baked powder blush yep and the color luminoso um i don't have anything really else to match this i like going for the corally type blushes so i definitely need to widen my range of colors of blushes but i know this is a good one so this one's i'm gonna use and i probably should put it on before highlighter but i'm just gonna put a little bit of flush of color not too deep on it so there we go and then i'm also gonna use the know which this is a dual fiber lr316 please forgive me i am not sure of the um maker of this but blush brush i like using and yeah see how it looks all right so we got the blush on like i said i'm a more of a natural type looking gal not too much makeup um, again, getting out of my comfort zone, so, um, I used to do makeup every day, and then I fell out of it, and then went all to all natural looking, so, here's with the blush, put it a little, obviously here, and over the nose to get that kind of flush look. Alright, we're gonna finish off the eyes and do the bottom lash line, so I'm going to dip back into the Violet Sunset and put it along my lash line mascara and then I'm going to use the same mascara for the bottom as well and then I'm going to use the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil and I want to say the color white seashells which is a white brightening color. Alright, so there's the bottom lash line. I put that purple color on the lash line. I blended it out and then I also put mascara on and then I have that in the waterline. And then to complete the look all together of the eyes, I'm going to go back into the Ofra um, highlighter and then put that in the inner corner. Alright, the last part of this look, and I tried my best to figure out which one I was going to use, um, I'm going to go with this dark purple color, hopefully that will tie it in. I think it's going to look best out of the three or four options that I have over here. Um, I am using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I'm sorry, I have used these for quite a few years, and I know they're very popular because they are very, very good, very, very creamy, very, very smooth. And yeah, so I am using the color Copenhagen and I'm going to outline my lips with it and then put it on the center as well and see how that comes out with. Um, please bear with me because my lips are usually like the hardest thing for me to maneuver. So here we go.
All right, that was a struggle, in all honesty, especially with this dark, but I think I got it pretty good for not doing this often. So, I think it looks good with this look, so. A little bit more deeper than, you know, but I think it looks okay. Definitely not even completely even, but. Tried my best, so. Here is the complete look. And the last thing I'm gonna do is put in my setting spray, if I can find it. Okay. Again, I'm gonna go back in with that Believe Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray, and then when it gets to some semi like dry, I'll pat it in with Beauty Blender. Um, I picked up that trick off of Ellie Glines because I have watched a lot of her videos. Um, hello, how are you? Um, Thank you for giving me this idea of doing that and a lot of credit goes to you for that. Um, and yeah, so let me get my face spray down and pat this in. All right, last but not least, I'm going to do my eyebrows, my non-existent eyebrows, I feel like, um, when they are um, nicely uh, waxed and um, dyed they look fantastic like I will not complain I have absolutely lovely brows <laughs> so no complaints there but when they're not tinted I am a blonde and you can barely see them so uh, I am going to use one moment I can find it where's my spoolie of course I'm gonna lose everything here one moment All right, I found it right here. So I'm gonna spoolie through and then I'm gonna go in with the tint. Um, this is a lash and brow duo. I'm not gonna use the lash, but I am going to use the brow and it is in brown. So when I do tint my lashes, I do do like a medium to dark brown. Um, at first, when I first did it, it threw me off, but I absolutely love the look of them. So I'm do that. And here is the completed look out of my collection. Um, I really like how the look came out. Very out of my comfort zone, but I absolutely love it. So, um, if you stuck along this far, thank you. Um, if you did like this video, please like um, and subscribe if you're not already. And click the little bell for the notifications for when I upload next. Again, I will be uploading, from what it seems like, every Friday, doing one video a month until I get into a groove of things, and then hopefully, like I said, doing my Makeup Mondays, Fashion Fridays. But, um, yeah, thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!